What's good, you guys? It's your girl, Cutie, and I'm back with another video, you guys. We're going to get right into it um, with Meg and Party and the baby. But first, we're going to talk about a few little things that's been going on, girl, okay? And then we're going to get right into it, all right? So, y'all, I got to say this. Y'all may not like it, but it has to be said. The City Girls, y'all, they decided to drop a new single called I Need a Thug, okay? Girl, I was like, no get somebody else to do it okay i don't know i just i don't like it maybe maybe they just wanted to put something out real fast to have something out for the summer but to me female hip-hop is trash okay i couldn't even listen to the whole song okay no shade and that's really rare because i actually like the city girls due to jt because jt is a real live talented rapper i mean for real in this day and time of female rap she's actually one of um one of the talented uh female rappers that i do actually like to listen to um and she y'all already know jt writes her own raps and stuff like that but um you know i was watching the podcast girl and they were saying that jt really needs to basically you know go solo and let me tell y'all something she do I like Young Miami, but Young Miami, she's more so on her rapping type stuff. And, you know, a lot of these female rappers like the Cardi B and uh, Young Miami, you know, they rap to where you can't even understand what they saying. You know what I'm saying? And I want to listen to a song. I'm not trying to, you know, be trying to. Well, how do I explain it? I'm not trying to break my ears or trying to try the hardest to hear what you actually saying i shouldn't have to do that and i'm not trying to be funny but i'm just saying if y'all professionals y'all should make sure that when y'all rapping people can understand what y'all saying now y'all know talk cardi b got that long tongue and you know she some people view that as sexy and that's okay but you know that is actually for some people could be a delay and not saying it for her you know that's just my opinion but that could actually cause a lot of things going with your speech as well because your tongue is so long and you know like i said cardi she's another woman she she talented you know they saying she don't write her write her own raps so she don't write her own raps allegedly i don't know that's that's just you know uh i i don't have no proof in that i'm not saying it's true or false you know but from what i'm hearing she's she doesn't write her own or she does but if she doesn't write her own whoever writes it they're they're talented okay but if she does cardi is talented okay but at the end of the day like i said before jt goes solo and you know young Miami, young miami you just go ahead and tell uh diddy to keep paying for those acting classes so you can go ahead and get you some nice little movies and stuff you know and all that anyway moving along Khalees, you guys did y'all hear about Khalees? now child Khalees is allegedly dating 72 year old bill murray okay 72 not 27 but a seven and a two okay um so yeah i guess allegedly her and bill murray are going pound town girl they going to pound town um if it's true i'm not i'm not mad at sis though you know i say i say let her live you know what i'm saying you know her husband passed on and sis was probably going through a lot let her live girl okay um moving along all right y'all so amber rose okay she's out here trying to gather the girls okay she said that she is tired of people coming out about her race and disrespecting her about her race she says black people say that she doesn't know the black experience um and she then she says when she says that she's white then people tell her she's black amber listen be who you want to be sis forget what people tell you and what they say okay people are going to talk about you regardless okay but also, you guys, BET says that they decided not to show Jocelyn and Amber Rose's fight, okay? They say that it's out of respect for all parties that are involved, okay? Now, child, I don't, you know, I don't watch the little show, okay? But I love Jocelyn Hernandez, but she does tend to get a little messy, okay? And she's always down for a good tussle. And I said, baby, you and Krishan got to be cousins, must be, because y'all always down to tussle, okay? Sometimes you got to bop somebody upside the head. Now, I don't, I don't condone violence all right but i'm just saying sometimes you just gotta bop okay bop a bitch upside the head but anyway um i don't i you know i can understand why they're not showing it but baby if you ain't gonna show the fight why are you up here advertising the fight to get people to watch the episode see that's the type of stuff i don't like because y'all not going to show the fight that's what make me not even want to watch the show because y'all gonna set up here and lie to say oh well we we gonna show the fight they had a fight and then when it come down to the fight in the episode y'all ain't showing the fight due to a uh, respect for everybody that was there okay so why was you sitting up there advertising the fight then because that's a fight that i want to see i ain't into boxing and all that but baby that's a fight that i wanted to see okay but anyway moving along 
So Blueface, y'all, child, Blueface is over there talking real zesty because Krishan called him the devil and was rejoicing that he was locked up. So now that he got out, I guess Krishan is up there talking about she wants to um get back with him and she loved him this, that, and the third. Um, so you know, that's fine, I guess. Um, but you still should be behind those bars, blue face. Okay. That girl spoke facts and she she right, you are the devil, okay. Um, and he knows he's the devil. So, I mean, I don't understand why he up there mad at her, but he, he have any excuse to, to be mad at her. He just trying to pick on that girl and torture that girl. I don't know why he trying to do that, but that's just what he trying to do. So I'm moving along. Let's go ahead, you guys, and go and get on Tory Lanes and all of them, okay? So, child, more and more tea is spilling on the zesty leprechaun up there, you guys, okay? So, allegedly, um, he, the baby, and some other dude rushed the stage during Meg's performance. I guess at first, you know, um, the baby performed, and then he invited Tori up, and then I guess some way Tori got through the green room, and something happened to where they all rushed, allegedly, this and that and the third, all that mess, okay, just basically being messy, and Tori knew at the time that he wasn't even supposed to be near that girl, okay, now see how messy his river cricket ass is, but some folks swear he is so innocent, okay, then of course the baby also allegedly uh, said that he slept with Meg and this and that, but it's crazy because it's like you doing all this for your friend, but look at karma though, Look at karma because your career over. And then Mick Mills or whatever that boy name is, uh, Nikki X, uh, uh, what the boy name is, God forgot his name. He get on my nerves. But uh, he tried to get the baby to come on one of his shows or something, girl. But I see karma don't miss because that didn't even help his career. That didn't even help the baby career. Because in my opinion, the baby career has been in the in the dumps for a while. And I don't see it picking back up. So it never pays when you play dirty, okay? And Meg has a new man and she's thriving and, and that River Cricket Leprechaun uh, gang of rejects are over there. They got their karma. You see his tail up in there sitting up in that chair and that cot because you shouldn't have never been sitting up there. But I don't know why people sitting up there, oh, he ain't do this, he ain't do that. Girl, ain't nobody trying to hear that, that nigga sitting in that jail. If, and everybody talking about this ain't fair, this ain't fair. Guess what? Everybody in America know they don't like black folk. They everybody in America know that these judges will sit up here and try to make an example out of these black men. So if you a black man and you a celebrity and you got a big name for yourself, why would you sit up there and put yourself in that predicament? It doesn't matter what he did or didn't do. You should have enough common sense to sit up there and you know that these people are gonna try to use you as an example. Look at young thug now. I ain't gonna say what happened to young thug was right. But y'all know that these judges be trying to make examples out of y'all. So y'all be sitting up here steady trying to get into this and get into this. Stop getting in trouble, dumbasses. Then maybe you wouldn't have to worry about this and that gun residue. This, I mean, common sense. Then y'all want people to feel bad for you. Then your pap is outside of the courthouse raising hell because they ain't tell their damn child to be accountable and stop being in other people's business. Stop doing stuff you ain't supposed to do, waving guns and stuff like that. You never know what's, what goes on. You probably supposed to be up in there. Then all this stuff going on and this and that. We don't know what in the hell happened. That man could have been doing anything. Y'all don't know what that man was doing to that girl. And I damn sure ain't saying the girl innocent. <clears throat> I'm not saying she innocent. But at the end of the day, all the dirty shit she did, I would have did it too because them niggas was being dirty to her. Would y'all expect her to just lay down and take it? Hell nah. I would have been the same way. You're not about to be sitting up here treating me no any kind of way. Y'all must say what I got to say, do what I got to do. Because you ain't going to just run, uh, run me over and do me any kind of way. Hell. But anyway, so I guess that's how the cookie crumbles. Then it goes to show what type of time that the leprechaun was on. Because his little ass seemed like he was obsessed with her because he tried all that he could to be near that girl, knowing he couldn't be near that girl. And that's sad on your benefit. You ain't care nothing about it. You ain't care nothing about that, getting in trouble then when you knew you weren't supposed to be around that damn girl. Now you want people to have sympathy for you. Okay, but all these people taking up for him when he knew his ass was uh, playing dirty. Smiling at court with them big ass teeth. Just sitting up there with them big ass Mr. Ed teeth. Sitting up there and, 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 and had the baby and that stuff. Girl, that, sh that shows you what type of mind frame he on. Who the hell bring their baby to court? I ain't never seen nobody bring their child to no damn court and all this other stuff. Why is you showing that child that? That ain't nothing to charge to. You should be up there bringing your child to your business so he can see how you a businessman. So he can see how to make an honest living. You up here bringing this damn child to the courthouse. Stupid. You need to sit up in there. People, I don't know what's wrong with people and, and, and just ignorant. Because you like a celebrity or something. You know what I'm saying? They be like a celebrity. Oh, well, they ain't do that. Girl, are you damn crazy? 
Like these people out here, child. Mm -mm -mm -mm. But anyway, like I said before, I don't wish jail on nobody. I ain't saying Meg is perfect. I damn sure ain't taking nobody's side. But at the end of the day, why does shit keep coming out about Tory? Why do this stuff keep coming out about Tory? And yes, a lot of the stuff that may have happened to him, may, it may not be fair. But hell, why should anybody else care if his ass don't care? If he don't care, why everybody else caring about it? He don't care. He don't care. He's sitting up there in that orange suit looking like a, 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 a Carolina River cricket. Okay? He does not care. He want to be right where he at and he need to sit there. Because that's where he want to be. He put himself there. That's where he want to be. And nobody tell him to be waving no this, no uh, bang, bang all around and stuff like that. He did that on his own accord. You can't just go to people neighborhoods, especially not no rich uh, people neighborhood. Then they got the white folk out there. No offense, white folk. You know the white folks don't play that mess. And you take your tail out there in college in the neighborhood. Boy, you done lost your mind. And thank you, you just child by. Child by. So anyway, that's that with that. I'm hoping the boy don't have to spend all that time in jail. Okay, but look, it, it, that, that's how the cookie crumbles, all right? He put himself in this situation, so it is what it is. Uh, Carolina River Cricket, I'm sorry, my brother, but maybe when you get out, you'll make better decisions. Hopefully, you can sit there and get your little common sense, all right? But anyway, you guys, my name is Q. Make sure you keep your hearts pure and your souls divine, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.